Also, yes, I've seen th- – this is kind of uh, ironic to me. Barack Hussein O is out saying that Donald Trump can't be trusted with nukes and foreign policy, that he's simply – Unskilled, uneducated, uh, unaware, he's not had the experience, doesn't know what he's doing, it'd be dangerous. Obama? Really? From the guy who has seen to it that the Iranians are going to be able to nuke up? You know the real question? What is it between Obama and Iran? That's the question we all ought to have. Because it sure seems to me like Obama's got some sort of affection for that nation. It doesn't make any sense. In addition to that, he is choosing a side between the the the, uh, the Shiites and the Sunnis by by backing Iran. I mean, that's choosing sides in the great arguments the Middle East, which we're supposed to be a nonpartisan broker, right? So he's choosing Iran. He unfreezes or thaws. The funds that we had frozen as part of the sanctions, they now have $150 billion to spend on revitalizing their economy or sponsoring terrorism. And he's out making all of this possible. It's irresponsible as it can be from somebody who's supposedly super educated, super competent. I mean, a guy's been to the Ivy League. He's been the president for seven and a half years. There nobody questions Obama's intelligence, right? Nobody questions Obama's temperament. And yet we need to redefine smart when talking about things Obama does, because in my world, he doesn't do smart things. He doesn't do intelligent things or wise things. He's doing destructive things. There is no, I can't, I can't conceive of a, of a, of a, satisfactory answer to the question, why are we enabling Iran to become a a, a Middle East equivalent of a regional superpower there? I do not understand. It doesn't make any sense. And when that happens, then you start looking for explanations elsewhere, and they aren't pretty. Because I don't think it has anything to do with Obama's incompetence. And I don't think it has anything to do with Obama's idealism. I don't think it has anything to do with Obama thinking this would be the best way to show them respect. And showing them respect would be the best way for them to stand down. Showing them we mean them no ill intent means they'll back down and, and stop terror. And that's not what's going on here. What's going on is far worse than that. So, you know, I, I think anybody currently running for the presidency on the Republican side, by default, would be a huge improvement or over Obama in every area, including foreign policy and the use of the military.